This may be the most heartbreaking face of today's findings. The homeless children in America, like six-month-old Mariah or one-year-old Aaron, innocent victims caught up in their parents' problems. What would you say to Americans who think the stereotypical homeless person is a guy on the streets with a bottle in his hand? Most Americans are just a, a paycheck away from being on the streets or being in a shelter like this. Melissa Zawoski and her four kids learned that the hard way when she and her husband both lost their jobs at the same time. What's the hardest part of this for you? I mean, I was being told that I could not get help. Yolanda Daniel says she was told help was available for her and her three kids if she was a recovering addict, alcoholic, or ex-con. But she was a college student who lost her job. That's not fair. What about the people who go to school every day, who work every day and can't make ends meet? And finding shelter can be tough. The new government study, believed to be the most accurate yet, suggests there are 300,000 more homeless people than beds in shelters and transitional housing. More than three quarters of a million on any given night. That's nearly the population of South Dakota. Melissa and Yolanda hope to get their names off the homeless rolls. Both are about to move into subsidized housing. Daniil, who has been in this shelter for 15 long months, is still pinching herself. I've been getting disappointed so many times. And praying that one day soon, she'll be able to tell her children, we're going home. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.